Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard Roost, I am Buzzard. Do a quick video here. I don't know about where you're at, but where I'm at, winter is here. <laughs> so, on your get home bags or your your car, uh, car care and car preps, uh, you need to go through them. Get any of your summer stuff switched out for winter stuff. I've already done mine. So just in case, you know, you slide off the road in the ditch where no one can see you. You'll be doing okay. As far as, you know, staying warm and things like that. Um, you, as far as your get home bag. Water is a big thing on on my get home bag. I tried to put my food and water towards the center of the bulk of stuff in my bags. Gives it a little more insulation. Uh, hopefully, I haven't had one freeze yet. Hopefully, knock on wood, that I don't have one freeze. Because then that would make a mess. Put as much of your stuff, if not everything, into like Ziploc bags or a, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, it's a waterproof sack. It's for like kayaking and canoeing and stuff like that. But anyway, it, it'll help keep them dry, even if, if your bag got wet. You're going to have other people, like I've got four of my kids and my beautiful lady that are sometime with me. I'll throw in an extra bag, maybe some extra stuff in there in the car. Now, if we're just going to, I'll say like in the town, 10 miles, we're not going to. I, I'll, I'll still have my get home bag in my vehicle, but I'm not going to add anything else. Now, if we go over to like my mom's house, it's an uh, hour and a half, between an hour and a half and two hour drive. I'll have some extra stuff in there. So, get your, and make sure you get antifreeze in your radiator and in your windshield wipers. Get the, uh, the windshield wiper fluid that doesn't freeze. I just filled mine up. It's good for minus 20. Now during the summertime, uh, I run basically water in mine. But the other day, my little windshield wiper uh, reservoir light came on. So I went down and got the good stuff that won't freeze. Anyway, get your car, check your tire pressures, you know, all, all that stuff that you're supposed to do anyway. And just get it ready for winter. I throw in a toe strap when I'm in, in this. Now, if I'm in my blazer, I've got a winch and chains and come-alongs and that old truck. I've done more pulling people out and things down with it. Then I probably drove it. <laughs> so, just remember to uh, get, make sure you got all your stuff ready and it's all good and, and winterized. Another thing is I finally hit my thousand, and I apologize to the to the person. I don't remember your your name. I want to say it's Kodiak Die Bear. I don't know. I'll look at it. If I remember, I'll, I'll correct it. Uh, he was making comments, or I'm assuming it's he, was making comments on a video I done. And he subbed to me and took me over that 1,000 mark. So... But I wouldn't have been able to do it without everyone. And everyone hanging in there and watching my videos and sharing them and things like that. 
I know I need to do more videos, quit keeping them so far apart. But anyway, hit over a thousand. Most of you that watch my videos know that I've got, I come across a great deal, unbelievable deal on the seeds. I will probably do another seed giveaway. I can't remember how much was in the last one. Uh, 40, I want to say 40 something packs. Since then, I've got some more varieties. I've also gotten uh, some sweet corn, two different kinds of sweet corn. Some, I've got me a bag of Timothy grass, which I'm going to be planting, planting some. So whenever we start getting rabbits, I'll be able to uh, get their own hay and feed with the Timothy grass. Anyway, I've got some additional seeds. Now that last pack, or that last giveaway I done, it had some space in it, so I sent, uh, I believe it's two bottles of colloidic silver and a bottle of super water. I cannot remember exactly. I guess that's old age getting to me. But anyway, I'll probably do another seed giveaway. I don't know if I'll have anything, you know, like last time I asked you, to put in the comments where you heard about me and I know YouTube gets a lot of bad rap but most of my subscribers came through suggestions that YouTube done so give credit where credit's due but anyway I'll do something something simple like make a certain comment down in the in the comment section didn't have very many people that sent in the, or sent me self-addressed stamped envelopes. The ones that did, I appreciate you doing it. I didn't realize how much seed, how much four little packs of seeds would cost shipping them. Uh, I know one person had put extra stamps on there. I'm assuming that she knows that uh, it was going to cost more than just a postage stamp or two <laughs> so I appreciate that anyway that's pretty much it uh, like I said hit over a thousand I'm tickled November I believe it's November 18th was in 2018 was when I started my YouTube channel so I'm, I'm happy to see a thousand before that time comes and I'm gonna start trying to do some different videos I mean I, as much as I need want to push food storage get your food you know get your other things to get you through s several months if not a year without any outside help I'll still do some of them but I need to get some uh, different different things on video I will ask this, if anyone out there that knows where I can get a decent, I guess, camera, videotape, whatever, that, whatever they call it that people do videos on, I do it on a little Android phone, so I don't have a lot of options on editing and things like that, but if someone's upgrading and they'll give me a good price on it, give me a holler you can do it either in the comments or my email address but I'd, I'd like to upgrade where I can do some editing and stuff like that it'll make it easier for example when I start building my rabbit cages you know you don't want to sit there and watch hours and hours of me building a rabbit cage when I could just do a few sections and hit some highlights and, and items like that so if anyone knows anyone out there that's upgrading that would want to get rid of their older equipment really cheap <laughs> let me know anyway this is buzzard remember only dead fish follow the flow of the stream don't be a dead fish we'll see you